Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Assistant General Secretary of the National Council of Sports, uh, protocol observed. Uh, these young men who are here fighting to make sure they represent the country. They know that the minister pushes so much for the budget, but when they hear the National Council of Sports, they will love to hear a word from you. We take appreciation of what the federations did. Uh, we have 51 federations. We are charged of, but. Uh, FUFA is a special federation. It has, I think, nine national teams, which we don't find with any other federation in the country. And that's not a small job. So I want to thank you, Honorable, with your team for the job you are doing very well for Uganda. I come from Uganda about two weeks before. Uh, FUFA was engaging us, uh, you know, asking for some briefs. And on top of that, they even sent an advance package. And again, before I go to the minister, and before I leave the president, I want on the behalf of uh, the Uganda Embassy to thank you, Mr. President, for looking for resources to enable the advance package headed by Mr. Takala to come. Because there are so many things that we as ambassadors and embassies don't know. So he taught us a lot. And uh, I can assure you, if we continue doing this, in the future, we will just give a call away because he has taught us how, the, uh, how things are done. We have had so many challenges as a uh, Mr. President, we want to thank you very much for doing your part as a federation to put everything on the table leaving the players to do their role. We also play our as members of parliament, as the minister who presents what sports is required, when the money is put in, it goes to national council of sports. When I come back to the players, for me where we are, especially the competition for the channel, I talked to you before you left the and I'm not going to repeat the words I said. I said this is just a platform. God has given you an opportunity to be here. For me, I call it a privilege. I told the coach, you have the privilege that you are the coach today. It's a privilege. There are very many coaches in this world. I told the technical team the same thing. You have just a privilege that you are here. There are so many other people who can't be here. I told myself, I'm privileged to be the president. In this group, we are seated in number two. I don't know whether they told you that. Coach, did we tell these players that in this group, seed number one was DRC? According to the truth, Uganda was in basket two. You know what that means? It means that the second spot in that group is our. We were seated ahead of seven and ahead of, I 
very positive. They might be some of you who are in but they are talking about child. I bring greetings from Mama, the First Lady, the Minister of Education and Sports and Education, the President, because I do not come here without their guidance. That is official. So I'm here formally on behalf of government. For me now, I want to speak as someone who watches. And I am happy I watched you yesterday. Please, friends, it's about you. It's an opportunity you have. You either seize it or forget about it. That's it. The government, the federation, the court, and the technical people have done their part. Now the fundamental question for you, there are 250 televisions who are all looking at this competition. These are the records I have bought. Do you want to remain playing in the Ugandan League or you want to get out of the country? It's about you. We have Senegal next and we must beat Senegal. We must beat Senegal. That game is a two-hole die. 